Hi everyone. I made Yuki from Alia sometimes hide her feelings in Russian. To make heart, I start by extruding the vertices and following the face shape. I add a circle for the eyes. I normally use 8 vertices, but I will use 12 vertices in this one. I add a sphere for the eyes. I turn on face snapping and snap the vertices to the surface of the sphere. After that, I extrude the eye and connect it in the middle. Then I continue to walk on the nose. I add 15 vertices to the mouth and extrude it. I connect the jaw and fill the gap. I add a loop around the eye and smooth out a little bit. I continue to walk on the forehead. I use a slight relaxed brush to smooth out the surface. I add the eye socket. This is what I usually do in modeling anime faces, but depending on the anime style, I adjust a little bit. By the way, you can watch the real-time video on my Patreon. I add the base body I made a long time ago. I really need to update this base mesh. I guess I will be doing that in the next video. I move on to the hair. I add a circle card for the hair volume. I create the hair strand and convert it into mesh. I split the mesh and extrude it to make small hair strands. Then I add a subdivision modifier and continue to walk on the other. I usually go with just the carve to make it simple and easy. Moving on the clothes, I make the white shirt first. I add two circles with 12 vertices on the waist and eight on the shoulder and neck. I fill the faces according to position of the vertices. I fill the back and for the front, I try to create a circle around the chest. I make the shirt column. And then I extrude the vertices to the arm. For the skirt, I duplicate the loop from the shirt and extrude it.
I select the two vertices at the bottom and press Y to split. And I press F to fill the gap. And now we have the folds. For the top clothes, I duplicate the shirt and adjust it. For the shoes, I create a base shape and extrude it up. Now let's move to the coloring. First, I fill the base colors to all the meshes. I add the Solidify Online modifier I paint the eyes and eyelashes I draw the shadow on the ear and neck. I brush the hair using gradient color and then add the highlights. Now I put some paint and shadows on the clothes. After that, I color the shoes. To look like more of a 2D, I add a nice texture into the shader. I also add to the outline material to look sketchier. And I think we're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it and subscribe for more anime girls.